Bitcoin split again. Now there's Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Bitcoin Gold. Confused? Don't be. We'll break it down for you. Bitcoin runs on a network called blockchain. Think of it like a highway. It takes Bitcoin from point A to point B to complete a transaction. And just like any highway, the more people on it means more traffic. Bitcoin's popularity has been soaring. That means more people are trying to drive on the blockchain highway. Sometimes that leads to a traffic jam, which slows down transaction time. So in August, a group within the Bitcoin community built the very first off-ramp to clear up traffic. That was Bitcoin's first hard fork. They veered off onto a new highway with a new crypto they called Bitcoin Cash. It's like a blockchain superhighway. Here, the blockchain size is bigger, so transactions are quicker. Sort of like a highway that's all bus lanes. More people in each vehicle means less congestion. When the fork happened, Bitcoin investors were able to trade their Bitcoin for Bitcoin Cash if they wanted, or they could just keep their Bitcoin and ignore the fork. The trouble was, the community that hosts Bitcoin transactions wasn't totally on board. They're like people who adopt a highway. They take care of the blockchain, making sure transactions can move along. But not all of them wanted the split, and that caused a lot of fighting within the Bitcoin community. Ultimately, Bitcoin Cash was adopted by 31 exchange platforms. And as of November 3rd, it was priced around $650. So everything settled down for a while, but then traffic picked back up. In November, Bitcoin forked again. This time, it wasn't about how many people were on the road, it was about the lack of a speed limit. Machines with massive processing ability, like this yellow guy here, could leave other cars in the dust. And if more of these big machines were on the network, the little guy could get pushed off the road. Meaning control of Bitcoin could be taken from the masses and placed in the hands of an elite few. So they launched Bitcoin Gold. It's vintage motoring, so it's not as quick, but anyone can get in and work on it. So there's a few different routes for your crypto journey, but right now the original Bitcoin is still your best bet. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.